Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be synthesizing bromoform. I figured because my last video was on chloroform and the video before that was on iodoform, I'll uh, keep up with this haloform thing I've got going on. So um, I am not going to be making fluoroform though because I don't have any fluoride salts. Um, anyway, so to get started take uh, 7.4 grams of sodium bromide and dissolve that in 100 milliliters of water. I'll also be showing um, this method uh, except using an iodide salt to make iodoform because I believe this is uh, more forgiving of stoichiometry errors so it should be uh, easier to get a higher yield than the method I showed in my iodoform video. Anyway, once that's all dissolved you're going to add 4 milliliters of acetone. Here I have 300 milliliters of bleach. I'm only going to be adding uh, 150 milliliters though. Uh, this is just common household bleach that I'll be using. What's happening is the bleach oxidizes the bromide salt to bromine and the bromine reacts with the acetone in situ to make bromoform. Okay, so 4 milliliters of acetone. And now I will add in the 150 milliliters of bleach. We see an interesting color change there. Bromoform is a very dense liquid, so we should see a uh, phase level separation. Alright, now that I've got this cloudy solution, I'm going to let it sit to let the bromoform settle out. I let my bromoform solution uh, stand for about 15 minutes and added it to the SEP funnel. And uh, as you can see, there's clear uh, phase level separation, and I know that's bromoform on the bottom. However, I didn't get very much. I'd imagine if I would let this stand for even longer, I could get more of it to come out of the solution. But I don't think there's much of a use for bromoform for the home chemist. I more just wanted to show uh, you know, what it looked like and how it was made. So it's that clear liquid down there. Now I'll be trying that same reaction with an iodide salt to try to get a better yield of iodoform. So I've got 12 grams of potassium iodide, again dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. Alright, to that I'm again going to add 4 milliliters of acetone and 150 milliliters of bleach. So let's get that all dissolved. with the acetone and now with the bleach and we get a nice color change there you can definitely see the color of iodoform again like the bromoform I'm gonna let this sit for a while and allow the iodoform to collect on the bottom after letting the iodoform solution stand for a few minutes, I'll uh, decant off the precipitate I got at the bottom. Here's what I collected. I have to say, if I were to need to make iodoform again in the future, this is a method I would use as opposed to the addition of sodium hydroxide to acetone and iodine. Anyway, thanks for watching.